Hey guys, Glenn here from F1 Sports Cards. Welcome to my channel. Today's a very exciting day because we're going to be opening up the brand new Sapphire 2023. Let's go. Before we get into today's videos, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that smashes up the like button on these videos. It helps the channel grow and get to new audiences. And I want to try and grow the F1 collectible card hobby in the UK and around the world. So as I continue to do that, I'm on a bit of a mission. You can also, if you're new to this channel, click subscribe. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. We do F1 card unboxings here, so make sure you subscribe for any tips, advice, and maybe to learn a bit history of F1 cards. You can also check out my website, f1sportscards.com, where you can shop for F1 cards 24 seven. There is a 10% discount code in the description down below, just for being a viewer of this channel. So make sure you use that if you do purchase anything. You can also take part in box breaks with myself over on my WhatNot page, which is uh, F1 Sports Cards as well. There is a code in the description down below. If you use that to sign up to WhatNot, you'll get £10 of free credit once you make your first purchase. So you could even enter one of my breaks and take part for free. Can't say fairer than that. <laughs> If you want extra content from me, you can also follow me on all your favorite social media platforms under the name F1 Sports Cards, and in particular, the Facebook group. The Facebook group has just hit over 4,000 members, so if I can't answer any of your F1 card questions, I'm sure one of the guys in the group will be able to help you out. So make sure you join that. It's one of the best communities in the world. Right, let's get into today's video then. We have got here the brand new Topps Chrome Sapphire Edition. Now these are the same as Chrome. They have the same images. It has the same checklist, the same 200 card base checklist. But what's unique about these is that in every single box you're guaranteed four parallels or short prints. So the short prints are the image variations there's 10 of them in here, I believe, potentially. And uh, you can hit colored versions of them. In Chrome, in this one, you can hit the image variations, but you can only get them in the refractor card, the shiny card. That's it. There's no colors. So if you want a colored version of Michael Schumacher, Ayrton Senna, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, you have to go for the Sapphire product. Something that's new for this year that they've never done before with Sapphire is they've in included a new subcategory called Sapphire Selections. These are super rare hits. You can only get them in normal blue, I think out of five red and one of one super fractors. Now they've never done super fractors before as well. So that's new to this product. Now the odds are we're not going to hit that because <laughs> it's like one in every 60 cases. And the, today I'm just opening up one box. But I will be opening up more of this product over on my WhatNot page, especially this weekend. Uh, so make sure you head on over to uh, WhatNot dot com slash f1 sports cards and i will be doing a five box break so i'll be opening five boxes of these all the chances in the world of hitting any of those big hits like i just said but today we're just going to open one up for myself as a personal fingers crossed we can hit a decent card so let's get right into it i'm really excited about this Now, this is a very short print run this year. Usually they print like, you know, tens of thousands of cases of this, but this year it's only 1,000 cases. I'm sure that probably at least a third of them have already sold. So I think the supply of this product is just gonna dramatically drop within the first three months of it being out. So. Uh, I would imagine that these boxes are going to increase in value over time. I don't say that very often. I've said it about Echelenza and I said it about Disney Chrome. And on both of those occasions, I was bang on the money. This is my next big shout out. If anyone's watching this and wants to buy sealed product to keep hold of for the future, I think one of these will do you pretty well. 
Uh, they retailed for 365 in the UK. Uh, they're cheaper in America, I have to say. We're going to obviously see what we can get. Fingers crossed for a image variation in a color or a sapphire selection. If we hit a sapphire selection, I will be over the moon. So let us let me get some gloves on and then we'll get straight into it. Right, so let's get right into it and see what we can hit. Hopefully the quality of the base cards are better than Chrome because Chrome did have its issues with the uh, base set. So we start off with Pierre Gasly. And as we can see, the quality of the card is a lot better than chrome which is really good news beautiful looking cards so even just a base set of these will look really nice so we've got pierre gasly we've got george russell and we got our first parallel lewis hamilton aqua and it's uh number one out of 99 <laughs> Awesome. That's one of my favorite uh, images in the set of Lewis as well. So that's uh, that's a sweet one. Number one out of 99. Then we have Lewis Hamilton in his uh, car image. First pack, one parallel. Not bad. So we should expect four parallels in here. The, there's eight packs in total. So that means there's going to be four I would call them dud packs, but it's such a beautiful set. Even just the base cards themselves look stunning. So, uh, you know, for me, this is like, it's almost like every card is a parallel because, you know, they just look so good. So we got two portraits in that pack, Perez and Ocon. Pack number three. Isaac Hajar. We've got another Aqua, and it's Kevin Magnuson this time. So the Aquas are out of 99. What do you guys think of this Aqua color? Looks really nice. I have to say the quality of these cards are so much better than Chrome. I might just have to put all my focus into Sapphire. <laughs> Kevin Magnuson, Esteban Ocon, and Max Verstappen. Haven't seen an image variation, and we're also looking for a Sapphire Selections, if we can hit one. Oscar Piastri, Richard Vazorch, and we've got our next parallel. It's a Jack Doohan out of 50, gold Sapphire. Nice. I don't know if I prefer the Aquas, you know. Maybe it's because they're sort of a newish colour. Lewis Hamilton. Ah, oh, this is one of my favourite images, actually, of Lewis Hamilton sliding in the car. That's a nice image, that one. Okay, so we've got three parallels. So chances are we've only got one more parallel out of four packs. So the next parallel will probably be our last. What have we got here? We have got Zhou Guang Yu. Max Verstappen, let's take the card from the back. Another Zhou Guanyu, two Zhou Guanyus in one pack. Double bubble. So what have we got here? We have got an orange. What's it an orange of? It's a sideways one. Carlos Sainz for Ferrari in the orange sapphires. This is one out of 25, nice. Nice one. So that's our last parallel. So I don't think we're going to have anything out of these last three packs, but let's find out. Make sure you smash the like button up if you like these videos. Obviously, these boxes are very expensive to hit uh, to open as personals. Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, Max Verstappen, and Nick DeReeves. Two more packs remaining for this box. We've got Dennis Huger. Oh, we have got another parallel. So that's five. Mm. We got Charles Leclerc, Jack Crawford, Dennis Huger, and we've got a Logan Sargent again out of Aqua. So we hit three Aquas. 
in this box and one orange out of 25. Logan Sargent. Last pack. So I'm assuming this is just going to be all base cards in this one. We got Max Verstappen, Richard Verzorch, Mick Schumacher, and Clement Novalak. So there we go. That's the full box break of Sapphire 2023. What do you guys think of these cards? I think they're probably the best looking Sapphire since 2020. I think they actually look nicer than 2022. It's a shame because if the cuts were, you know, nice on 2023, uh, I think that would be a stunning looking set. Uh, it's just a shame how bad they're cut. Now, this is something I want to put to you guys. I don't know if I just got really lucky by hitting five parallels there, but because you're only supposed to hit four. If there is five parallels in each box, that means the print run on these is a lot slower than I've calculated. All the calculations I've done are based on how many parallels there are in total and then dividing it by four because you get four per box. But if there's one extra in every box, I won't know this until I open more box up. That means that print run dramatically dropped. It'll be by a fifth. So if there's a thousand, that means there's only seven or eight hundred cases made so it may be an even shorter print run than i'm already expecting so i definitely think that these are worth looking out for if you can get them sort of at recommended retail price and you want to hold on to something for many years then i think this may be a good hold uh, obviously featuring potentially oscar piastri's rookie cards as well so if he ever goes on to do really well in the future this will be a product that you would want to keep locked up in the loft in my opinion don't make take, make any financial decisions based on that. It's just my opinions. I'm just a crazy guy talking about F1 cards in my garage. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you've liked that. If you have, smash the like button up on these videos. And, and make sure you join me if you want to see more of these unboxings. If you like watching this content, make sure you join me on Sunday because I will be opening up five boxes of these live on Whatnot. And if you want to buy a particular athlete or team boss or a spot in the break, they're all available on my Whatnot page in the Buy It Now section right now. So you can actually go over and purchase your favorite driver before I even go live. So make sure you head on over to my Whatnot if you want to take part in a break on Sunday. I'm going to be opening up five boxes and then we're going to find out if there is more than four to five parallels in every single box. So make sure you join me for that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.